Hey guys, what's up today? I'm gonna show how to make the stack up effect in After Effect. So without wasting any time, let's jump into it. Yo guys, we are back in After Effect now. I'm gonna show how to do the effect in here. So I have this two clip ready in my timeline. Start by selecting your second clip and go one frame forward and split the layer and select the split it layer. Then go to time and hit the freeze frame. I will expand the freeze frame a bit. Then you will have this freeze frame before you another clip start. I'll win the two clips one frame forward. Select my freeze frame. I will hit control d to duplicate it one time and then i'll select the bottom layer and start maxing out his head or any part that splits from the body as you can see i selected out his head right here i'll rename the head layer and put it over my under the freeze frame then i will hide my head layer now selecting your other freeze frame select the body of the subject as you can see, I did that and I also rename it to body. Then I keyframe the position. Then go free frame forward and make a new keyframe and go back to your last keyframe. And you can move it out of the frame and play with the keyframe. As you can see, I made this quick little animation. By hitting R, I bring up the rotation and play with those to get the best result that I want. In this part, you can play with the keyframe and be creative with the keyframe. Then I bring up the keyframe a bit closer to make it even faster. By hitting F9, I easy is those key frames. then this is the most important part turn on the motion blur you can play with the motion blur amount by going to composition settings and advanced settings and changing the certain angle to whatever you like then I add this mode freeze frame effect then selecting my position keyframe I'll go to the graph and play with the graph make sure you are in speed graph so you can move the handle I recommend making this graph right here this graph works the best for this effect. then I will turn on the visibility of my head layer I'll select my bottom layer and hit U to bring up all the keyframes. Then trim the head layer to the last keyframe. Then I'll hit P in my head layer to bring up the position. Then in the first keyframe, make it out of frame. Then go a few frames forward and then make it go a bit up than the original position. Then go a few frames forward and reset the value. Then throughout the animation, I made a full one cycle rotation. Then I expanded the keyframe of the rotation. So the rotation is not that crazy. Then selecting my all keyframe, I easy ease those by hitting F9 and go into the graph. You can play with the graph, but this graph works the best for this effect. Then I made a new adjustment layer and applied my stake preset. If you want to download this free preset, the video will be linked in the description. So you can check it out and download and play with the keyframe to get the best result that I want. At the last, you will have this really trendy cool transition so if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this see ya later bye